Hello there. I'm going to run through board 11 of the Andrew Robson Bridge duplicate on BBO. Hope you're enjoying playing in as many duplicates as you can. We've got leaderboards, prizes, lots of excitements for you. Come and play wherever you live in the world. Nice and friendly. Do come along. Now, board 11, neither side vulnerable, dealer south. I had a, an email the other day, said, I get the feeling that top players play a completely different game to normal players. Well, there is a grain of truth in that, and top players do play a lot of artificial gadgets. Top players also know a few tactical ploys that are very accessible to all of us. This deal will help to show a couple of competitive bidding tactical ploys that you may be interested in. Now, south deals and opens one heart. West is going to pass. I don't think West can really do anything there. A frisky takeout double would be sort of semi-fine if West had a fourth spade, but not with the actual hand. And West also should not do an unusual 2 no trump. That you really should have 5-5 five, five in the minors. That tenth card makes a big difference. So it's a pass. That doesn't mean that West won't come in later, but it's a pass for now. North raises to an honest two hearts. And now a purist East may think, I'm not in the protective seat, the cheat seat. There's no need for me to strain to act. But the winning duplicate pairs player, non-vulnerable against non-vulnerable, the bidder's vulnerability, will act double. Now, it's slightly risky in the sense that you've got two small cards in one of the unbid suits. But of all the suits to have two small cards in, clubs is the best suit. You'd certainly not ever have it in spades. And there's a small reason why clubs better than diamonds is because if partner bids clubs, you can correct to diamonds at the same level. So you've got to take your chances. You've got to compete when the opponents have found a fit. North shown a weak raise. You've got to compete. So East doubles. Now what South is going to do is go four hearts. Now South does have a five loser hand. So that is a four hearts that could very well make or it could steal. It's what they call in poker a semi bluff. South doesn't really have the high card strength for the bid, but it may make or it may steal. And it's a losing trick count bid, so it's not far off the mark. Although the losing trick count, one should always bear in mind that it is a guide, never a gospel. But here I would bid four hearts for the tactical reason. Now, what about West? What do you think West should do? Because I think West should bid four no trumps. Now, that logically has to be pick a minor. And West is happy to have the extra card in clubs because if East has equal length, East will bid clubs so they'll play in their longer fit. Sacrifice bidding at duplicate pairs isn't brilliant, but uh, in general, but it, there is a place for sacrifice bidding. And here, what, for all West knows, five of a minor may be making. Could be a double game swing. Four hearts could be making. Five of a minor could be making. And bidding five of a minor could push north south to five hearts. So there's quite a lot going for a for this 4 no trump bid. North passes. And that means something, by the way, because if North had a good defensive hand, a trick or trick and a half in the minors, North would double to say, maybe we can double five of a minor. I don't think it's right to go five hearts. But here, North passes. East then goes five diamonds. And, well, it's annoying for South, isn't it, really? But South can't really double. 
because the ace king of hearts could be no tricks. So South has barely a trick on defence. But five over five, also not normally right, not the percentage action, and so South's going to pass. Let's see how five diamonds gets on. But what I should say, and you may have already spotted, is that four hearts would make. Four hearts would lose only one spade leading towards the king and one trick in each minor. So four hearts would make with only 19 high card points between the north-south partnership. So this is bound to be a good save and it's not even doubled. Let's see how it gets on. South leading, naturally, a top heart. Now with dummy having a singleton heart, North's card becomes suit preference, not attitude. So North has the king of clubs, so North plays the two of hearts. Low for the low suit. Now South doesn't really need to switch to clubs. Club tricks are not running away. So South can just switch to a trump. If North had played a high heart asking for spades, South would switch to king and another spade and rough. But now that North's played a low heart, South knows De Clara has the ace of spades, so South's not going to switch to the king of spades. Passive trump switch. Leave De Clara to do the work. All right, so De Clara's going to win in the short hand and go after clubs, setting up the long suit. As usual, the first thing to be done on so many deals. De Clara could have lost the first club, but just in case clubs were 5-1, De Clara plays ace and another. It's going to come to the same. So North wins the king. Again, there's no need for the defence to switch to spades. That would resolve De Clara's guess in spades. North just leads a second diamond. Exposing the 3-1 diamond split. That's good news for De Clara, for the East-West team. Because if Diamonds had been 2-2, two, two, this would have been a phantom sacrifice. There'd have been four top tricks against four hearts. So East-West are happy to see that Diamonds are 3-1. It looks like four hearts would have made now, as it, as it would have. So we're going we're gonna to rough a third club, exposing the 4-2 club split. North discards a heart. And now we're going to go back to dummy in trumps, drawing North's remaining trump. Now we're going to rough a fourth club to set up the fifth club. And now we've got to take our spade view. But we do think South has the king of spades. South having done all the strong bidding. And South goes up with it. And that's it. One down. It's a very good sacrifice. Only 50 points to the North South team. Nice the way East West got into the bidding there. East making the takeout double of two hearts. There, it wasn't a pure hand with only two small cards in one of the unbid suits, but you mustn't let one flaw put you off such an action. And then West for no trump bid there, pick a minor, much better than just plumping for five clubs, which would be a far worse contract than five diamonds. So some useful competitive bidding ploys there. And I look forward to seeing you soon.